Welcome to your evening on Spectrum News One. I'm Bianca Ray. My name is Emmett Singh. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. We begin the show with the fight over gas prices in California. Today, California lawmakers returned to work for a special session on the issue. Governor Newsom announced what he called America's first price gouging penalty on big oil. He said in a statement, California won't be gaslit by oil companies keeping gas prices high while they rake in record profits. He said it's time for them to answer for ripping you off, Bianca. Yeah, and just last week, the California Energy Commission held a public hearing about gas prices. Listen. California's market is certainly uniquely expensive. We have a greater tax burden. We have higher environmental program costs. Our market is isolated, which makes us more vulnerable to higher costs due to lower supply. Our refiners face high crude costs due to the need to import as in-state production is artificially limited by government policy and local and state policy is causing production of fuel to fall faster than consumption. She went on to say those companies produce more than 40 million gallons a day despite those challenges. Now, during that session, we also heard from Jamie Cord of Consumer Watchdog, who challenged Reese Boyd's remarks. If we want to get to the issues of uh, how prices go up so suddenly, a dollar, a dollar twenty, uh, we have to get to transparency in the spot market. We need a public ledger of all transactions. Well, Serena Sandoval is in Burbank, where she got the hyperlocal impact of all of this. Serena, you spoke with two people who have felt the pain of high gas prices. What did you hear today? Hey, Amrith. Yes, I did. Now, from July to September, oil companies have reported their highest record-breaking profits. Now, when I spoke to the owner here, he says he tries to be as competitive as he can, all while taking care of his customers. Before heading back to Vegas, Alexander Brines relies on an app that shows him where he can get the cheapest gas in the area. That's exactly why I came here. And then it says there, up to 25% off if you connect to your uh, bank account. He uses the MyConico app. The Las Vegas native visits LA at least 10 times a year to see his favorite bands play. This was the band that was actually playing the Murlocs. They played at Terra Grand Ballroom. He'll usually take off for a weekend, but Alexander says with an eight-hour drive there and back, he tries to save at the pump as much as he can. I got gas before I left using the Conoco app as well. I got under $4 in Vegas, which is really good right now. And then I've only had to fill up now since, so it's worked out. He says this is the lowest he's seen gas prices in California. Chuck Mercier has been the owner of the 76 gas station for 43 years, so he knows how prices can go up and down. Right now, prices at the gas station are under $5. Chuck says he tries to be competitive with others in the area while also looking out for his customers. That's what attracts people to my business is people trying to be competitive and fair and not taking advantage of people. On Monday, Governor Gavin Newsom called a special session regarding gas prices as lawmakers return to Sacramento. He's proposing California legislators to consider punishing big oil companies for their profits during a time of record high gas prices. Newsom's proposing any penalties would go into a new price gouging penalty fund, which lawmakers could return to residents as a refund through the state budget. Supply and demand. When you got a shortage, you got a shortage. And then the manufacturers, the people that produce and deliver, they, they make more money. That's just what it is. According to AAA, the average price of a gallon of self-serve regular gasoline in L.A. County dropped for the 25th consecutive day. Alexander hopes that price will keep dropping. I would say it's about a dollar of a difference right now. But compared to when I was here, like last year in November, Gas was like a dollar more here, I would say. It was up for sure. Newsom's proposal is aimed so that people like Alexander can save an extra buck at the pump. Now, this is just a proposed plan. Legislators still need to discuss and vote whether they, not, whether they want to move this forward or not. Amrith, um, back to you.